Hello my gorgeous, gorgeous girlies. It's Grazi. I'm back. It's been a little second. Yay for that. I hope you guys have been doing amazingly well. Today I'm back with, you know, I'm going to ease my way into being back. To be fair, I don't know what I'm saying I'm back. It's literally been three weeks. It's not that deep. <laughs> but yeah, um, today's video is going to be a self-care, chill, very chilled vlog just to ease my way back into vlogging i just wanted to treat myself a little bit the sun has come out in the uk so i wanted to switch things up i wanted to get my natural hair out my, i feel my most prettiest when my natural hair is out i love when my hair's just slick back my face is just all out of the world to see i complain about my forehead being big but i actually love it so yeah i'm going to show you guys how i got this hair look and then i'm gonna take you guys along my day so if you're interested then keep on watching we started off this self-care day with a wash day now wash days are some of my least favorite days but i've been trying out this new tangle teaser comb and it's changed the game because it just makes my hair so much more easy to detangle a lot less stressful a lot less painful so i'll show you guys that whole thing and then we can head on out to town, do a little shopping, do a little eating. I might get myself a little dessert. Who knows? So come along with me and we're going to have a great day. Yay! So we're starting this self-care day off with a wash day. I'm not even going to lie. Wash days are some of my least favorite days just because I'm a 4C and I'm literally just not a hair girl. Like, that's not me. But recently, I've added this Tangle Teaser wire tooth comb to my wash routine and it's changed the game. It's made my life so much easier. So this is what the Tangle Teaser wire tooth comb looks like up close i love that it's a dual two-in-one comb so it's super convenient especially for wash days when you don't want to be faffing around with too many combs you can use it in the shower when your hair is wet or you can use it damp or dry which is very convenient so for this portion i'm going to show you how i use it on wet hair i start off with my ends i use the wide side of the comb on my ends just because the teeth are a little bit wider and they get rid of you know the obvious tangles and then i shampoo and condition my hair and then i use the short and more dense side for the more kinks in the middle where you don't really see as much um, it's really really convenient because they're flexible teeth so it kind of like moves with your hair they don't snag your hair anywhere near as much as a harder comb and then I repeat the steps after adding shampoo and conditioner and then I wash that out and then I repeat the steps once again as you can see the comb is actually gliding through my hair now it's nowhere near as hard to go through my hair and I'm obsessed like look how easy that was and my hair is so much easier to manage so now i'm going to show you how i use the wide tooth comb with my hair dry and then i'm going to style my hair in a slick pony which you guys have requested so enjoy right let's get this hair together so right now i'm looking like is it crushed to the crab from the simpsons that's what i'm looking like. that's what i'm giving right now i've been really feeling just have my natural hair out recently especially because the sun's back out in the uk so i want to take this opportunity to have my hair out while i can um i'm gonna just do my favorite hairstyle which is a slick bun slick pony um and yeah these are the tools that i'm going to be using to make my life a little bit easier but i need to give i need to give some kind of hot girl you know so now that my hair is dry, I'm just going to moisten it up a little bit more. I'm using the Tangle Teaser Spray Bottle. This is like a continuous mist one, which is just really nice. It doesn't like attack you. It's just like a gentle water mist. I just added my water in here to make it a bit more manageable to work with. I like working with my hair damp. And then part my hair just so it's a bit more manageable to work with as well. I like doing it in sections because it becomes less tangled that way as well. Just makes it a lot easier to work with it when it's section by section and then i go in with the tangle teaser wire tooth comb to comb my hair start from the top to make sure it's nice and smooth and then i work my way down and then i use the other side the shorter side to just make sure there's no knots or tangles left as you can see it's literally gliding through my hair because it makes it easy to detangle Then I'm using some conditioner, leave-in conditioner, to make my hair super soft. And then I go in with a heat protection because I'm about to blow dry my hair and obviously I want it to be protected. And then I just use this 
um, blow dry brush and then voila we are done and then here is the finished product ready to be styled you guys using this tangle teaser white tooth comb has definitely changed the game for my wash days i definitely highly recommend it will be linked in the description box i already use their brushes their brush teeth are so soft definitely the best i've tried for natural hair so far because i'm 40 and i need all the help i can get so definitely check it out in the description box and let me know what you guys think so moving on to the styling i've parted my hair again with the pick comb and i'm just using this gel i don't wouldn't really recommend this gel to be honest because it flaked up a little bit on me i'm testing out different gels i'll let you know when i find the perfect one but i do it section by section to gel it as well just so it's more manageable and i make sure that it's nice and flat it's already been detangled so it makes life a lot a lot easier i se separate my baby hairs from the nape of my head just to make sure it's not gelled back because i'm going to need those and then I go to the middle of the crown, I gel that, I use a, a bristle brush to just make sure it's nice and flat and the gel kind of just gets all up in there. And then I move on to the front of my hair and gel that back also. Doing it in sections is the best way to go because it helps your hair become a lot flatter versus doing it all in just one big pony. With this, make sure it's nice and flat and there's no bumps. And then I tie that in a bun, in a little pony, and then I gel my baby hairs this part is the most frustrating for me because I can literally never get my baby hairs right but we move this is how I do it this brush is really really good actually as well just for your little baby hairs it snatches them all up I just got it from my hair shop to be honest Then a super key part is to set your hair. So I'm using a scarf and then I'm tying, I'm plaiting, sorry, my hair into a braid just so it is nice and protected and out of the way. And then I twist the braid into a little tiny mini bun. I'm using some braiding hair just to add a little volume and va va voom. This is the braiding hair. I add a little rubber um, band so that it kind of slots into my hair nice and easily and then I start wrapping the hair nice and tight to create the bun. Just go all the way around, make sure it's nice and tight when you're going around. You don't want a super big bun with this hairstyle. The smaller the better. I probably would have used less braiding hair if I'm honest, but that's for next time. And then I leave a little piece out and just fluff it up just to give that Bella Hadid Y2K vibe. Okay, now we're done with my hair. I'm gonna beat this face off camera, otherwise this video is gonna be six hours long. But I'm gonna come back with my face is beat and I'll show you guys the full look. I'm putting some gloss on for finishing touches. So I'm just gonna remove my hairband, which was kind of flattening down my hair while I was putting my makeup on. Okay, so. That is the finished makeup look. Oh! I just hope my makeup is translating on camera because I'm actually obsessed with this look. I love it. My hair came out so nice and flat, like... Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So that's it, guys. That's the finished look. Hope you guys like this hair, this makeup. I'm actually obsessed with this look. My hair came out super cute and flat. The Tangle Teaser comb definitely helped me get a really nice and um, detangled hair so I can get it nice and flat. There's no bumps or kinks. I'm obsessed. I just feel like a cool girl, you know? I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. I'll show you guys what I'll get up to for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a solo date. Just need to kind of just, just have some space, have some time to myself. I've got my AirPods, I've got a nice playlist. I'm going to be blasting that new Ashake. If you guys know about the music, then you know the vibes. So yeah, I'm really excited. And the sun is glorious today. It literally looks about 26 degrees out. So I'm really excited. And yeah, I'll show you guys my outfit. And then I'll let you guys know what I get up to later. If I, if I purchase anything, I'll show you guys right at the end. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Oh, also, I got my nails did. Self-care 
has to include getting your nails done, you know what I'm saying? So I absolutely love how they turned out. Really simple. Well, not that simple actually. I'm actually really happy with how they came out. It's like a baby pink tip with this white outline. Super cute. I'm just feeling myself today. Like, oh, can we get into this beat? Can we get into this hair? It's giving very much black Bella Hadid. Is it not? <laughs> Is it not? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's head on out. Okay, so this is my look, guys. My skirt is from Princess Polly. My top, I think, is PLT. I think it goes really, really well with my hair. These bangles, I think, are from Primark. And I'm wearing these glasses. I just had that really cute early 2000s vibe. So cute. What do we think? Who is she? Oh, and I'm wearing my Gucci slides. My Gucci, yeah, slides. Cute! I have some water in here. I have my camera. So we're ready for today. What do we think? How do you guys think the hair turned out? Bearing in mind this is my first time doing this whole flicky thing. So comment below. I'm what... actually obsessed. Thank you. Comment below what you guys think. You guys are gonna try this out. Let me know. So yeah, let's head on out. Did you get the whole fit? Yeah. These are the fragrances of the day. I'm still loving the Universal Oud. It's like halfway nearly done. And I'm mixing it with C just because it's spring and I want a little bit more of a sweet scent. But yeah, this is very Oudy. I love, love, love this fragrance from Zara. And then this Giorgio Armani yeah. C together is a gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah. girly fragrance. So yeah, let's hey. head on out. Okay guys, just got to town. First things first is put some music on. So I just put my AirPods in and I'm just about to play my playlist. First song has to be my favourite song right now, which is a Shake PBUI. You guys know about that. I've got this whole playlist of bangers. So just to keep me company and to block out anybody who's trying to chat to me, there's already been some very much interesting characters trying to speak to me this one uncle asked me to go to the bar with him i said sir do i look like i'm going to the bar with you <sighs> anyway so at least if i have headphones in then i could just ignore them that way like can't hear you babe sorry you know what i mean so yeah i'm gonna go to zara now because i'm going on a trip soon and I need some new bits. I feel like I've run out of clothes. My, I, my last two vacations, like I was actually recycling, which is great, but I just feel like I was wearing the same outfit. So I'm gonna go head on to Zara. Hopefully I can find something cute. And then I wanna go to Morphe, get some new lip liners. They have a sale on. So I wanna get some new lip liners and I wanna get some, I just wanna see um, what's popping with Zara. Then I'm gonna go to Selfridges and see if I can find anything cute. Um, it's my birthday in three weeks and my man wants to treat me to something but I just don't know what I want and I've, I've been thinking about this tabby bag the coach tabby in the champagne in the champagne color I'll show you guys on the screen um so I want to see if they have it in person so I can just try it on and see if I like it but yeah let's go so this is the bag I was talking about but in the champagne, I don't think they have it in the champagne here, unfortunately. Because my city is just doesn't have anything. Um, this is the perks of living in not a main city, but we move. Um, it's cute though. I do really like it. I like the size. You can actually fit stuff in here. I looked at the Gucci one, but it, it didn't even fit my phone. I literally said absolutely not. So yeah, this is a nice size. It'll fit quite a few things. How much is this? Oh, it's got a strap as well, which is good. This is 550, but for the size, I think it's actually really nice. I don't think I'd get this one because I feel like this one is a bit overdone now. Like, I feel like a lot of people have this, but I really did like the champagne. So I'm gonna just try this on with my fit now and see if I'd like it with the outfit. Let me find a mirror. Put this down. So this is, oh, this looks so cute and chic and very classy. 
Maybe you can see it in the light. I really like this with my outfit actually. I need to find better lighting. Hold on. This is what it looks like from the side. The lighting is absolutely awful here, but I do really like it. It's super cute. It's a nice size. Goes with my look. Super cute. I just wish I could try the champagne, but I actually really like this. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Do you think it's overdone? Like, so many people have it, but I don't know if I'm late to the party. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. She's a cute. So this is the other option. It's a different size. I don't really like this color because it's just very basic. But I think this size, it at least fits my phone. I think it's a bit too mini though. I wish that there was a size between this and the large. Because I think it's still a little bit too small. Like I need a bag that can actually fit things. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think of this size? I'm not sure about this color at all though. The color's dead. The color's very dead. But yeah, let's keep looking. No, um, they're doing a it's called resalvages so basically it's like recycled not recycled but like vintage Chanel bags where you can buy and they show you the, the age when they were made this one is currently $5,500 she's super cute though and I love the shade of gold that they use look at the seat chocolate in the light She's super cute, but I don't know if I'd want a vintage Chanel or if I'd want a brand new Chanel because to be fair, Chanel prices now are crazy. This is really good. She's stunning. Um, it's in really good condition as well, but I don't want a brand new one. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Yeah. because I just don't want to I don't want to ask for it for my birthday and I don't love it so the next time I'm in London I'm definitely going to try that bag out but I love the shape um, but anyway you guys actually help me out let me know if it's too late to get the cream version but yeah time to shop for some makeup and some fragrance okay guys so I have finished window shopping um, I realize there's actually a coach store here. Oh, just my luck and it's just closed. So I'm gonna actually try and come back maybe tomorrow um, and actually try see if the coach store has the bag that I really wanted. My hair is still looking sweet. It's been so hot I thought it would melt. I don't know why I thought the gel would melt, but all good. Anyway, so I'm gonna get some food now. I'm gonna treat myself to some nice food. I'm um, probably gonna try and eat outside, just some chill vibes catch the sunset maybe and yeah I'm feeling some I think I'm feeling like it's Italian food and I know there's a spot where it's like outdoor seating so I'm gonna see I actually am really feeling Japanese food but I can't really think of any place that does it outside so I'm gonna try that and Hopefully the food is going to snap and hopefully it's not too busy because whenever it's hot everybody is outside and everybody's outside and there's no reservations um, and it's look, looking a little bit hectic but hopefully I'll find somewhere and enjoy. Okay Angels we've found a restaurant um, and I found outdoor seating and it's super super cute, it's got a gorgeous view. Um, yeah it's called Gusto, got the menu right here. And yeah, I'm gonna order. I came specifically for the calamari. I came here before and the calamari was insane, but just my luck, they don't have it today. It's sold out. So it's fine, I'm gonna order something else. I'm probably gonna go for the bruschetta. Bruschetta, bruschetta. 
and just like a burger, I think. I was literally dying for the calamari, I'm so sad, but it's fine. Um, I just love the vibe right now. The sun is setting, it's like it's people watching. Love it, love this for me. I don't know what drink to get, I don't know whether to get a Coke or a Rose. I'm actually almost like a Rose, I literally live my best. Yeah, I really love this for me. I want to do this more often, like I always say this, but this is such a vibe. Such a vibe. Okay. It's just awkward that I'm because I'm filming, but otherwise, 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna order the bruschetta starter and let me see what the drinks are saying. Let me show you the vibes actually first of all. How cute is it? So cute. Is she alright? I don't think it's a, I don't think it's that. <laughs> oh my god. Not me not ordering a porn star martini, proud of me. Okay, let's do a taste test. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Yum, that is so good. Try the bruschetta. You know, gotta get the TikToks and the reels going. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much olive oil. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Needs a little salt, not gonna lie. It's not as crispy as I usually like Rochetta, but. Mm. Still really nice. After you add the salt, it's actually really, really good. Mm. There's literally people sitting opposite me. <laughs> and it was so awkward, but they've left now. So I've got my personality back, period. Guys, this drink was so good. Like, I need to try more drinks because I actually get pleasantly surprised. But more time, it's drinks with passion fruit in there. They never do me wrong. Well. So nice. It literally tastes like mm, passion fruit juice with a little bit of snap, with a little bit of vanilla. Mmm. Okay, I'm ready for my main. I thought it was, that was really, really refreshing. I don't know why I got a burger. I feel like I wish I got something else, but the menu's not. The menu's a bit limited, and I don't really. I don't really like all the stuff that I can make at home. <laughs> like, I know I can make a burger at home, but like when I see pasta on the menu, I'm just like, I can literally make that at home in 25 minutes. So. 
was going to order the duck, but it's got balsamic, and I'm not sure if they're going to put the balsamic and red wine. I'm a bit scared. So I just got the safe option. I hope it's good. I'm ready for my main baby. Where you at? Where you at? The main is here now. We got a cheeky burger and fries. Oh, burger and fries. And I can't complain. Life is good. You actually can't go wrong with a burger and fries. Truly. So yeah, that looks really good. It's caramelized onion in there, cheese, everything. And this sauce, I just tried it. It's so good. The sun is still up. It's still not dark yet. And it's nearly nine. It's literally half nine. <coughs> My, this is my favorite thing about summer, like the long days. Apparently today's the longest day of the year, actually. Um, the fact that the sun goes down at like 10 o'clock is everything to me. So yeah. Mmm, mmm. That is so good, that sauce, wow. Okay, I'm glad I picked this actually. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I haven't got my picture yet. This is the life of it. Instagram, like it's actually not a joke. You cannot enjoy your life until you have it snapped. Otherwise, did it even happen? You know what I mean? Okay, now we can enjoy. I'm just watching videos. Um, I love the Vogue YouTube channel. I'm watching all different celebrities break down their looks from, from the 1990s till now. Currently, we're on Mariah Carey, and she's such a diva. Like. Next, I'm gonna watch Kim Kardashian, watch a few vlogs, and then I'm gonna watch Love Island. I'm gonna get some ice cream and watch Love Island with Grandy when we get home. First things first is you have to cut it in half and then take out the but the gherkin because I hate gherkins so much. I don't know why they exist to be honest. Like, why do they actually exist? Who discovered them? I thought they were a good idea to put in food. Mmm. So good. Okay, we okay with it. Yeah, we're just going to take another napkin. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Because guess what? My man can't spend a minute without me, so he stalks me to where I was. Because I told him where I am. <laughs> And he just pulled up, and I was like so confused. I didn't. I just told you for vibes. No, I thought you'd be at home. Okay. He lives quite far, actually. I just wanted to show him that you know, I don't need you. I can go on my own dates. But then he just pulled up. I was so confused. I am okay. I'm, I actually did really well. Thanks. I can see that. I'm actually happy that he came. This is a nice surprise. Do you feel like you're on holiday? Huh? I feel like you're on holiday. Isn't it so nice? Yeah, even when you, when you face like You're no. jealous. I wouldn't use these words. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this is a cute surprise. <laughs> That's his whip, by the way. He's got a freaking sports car. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I mean, got a sports car, period. But yeah, he doesn't want he doesn't want food, so he looks in dessert. All right, just gonna snog him now. Bye. <laughs> Having a long vlog, 
so yeah but join me next week i'll be back with a regular weekly vlog super exciting one i get up to a lot of things i'm in london festival all of the things and so i hope you guys can be with me next week i hope you guys subscribe if you're not following me on instagram follow me check out the link in the description box for the tangle teaser that i used to get this gorgeous detangled flat hair and yeah thank you for watching